My name is Karl Stingeder, and it's my pleasure to host the webinar. Maybe a few words about my background. I've been active in the e-commerce sales since 2008, and in Worldline, I'm now responsible for sales and account management of partners and merchants in Middle Europe in the petrol and energy team. My colleagues, Guillaume Royer and uh, Maxime Boutita, will be presenting the paint drive solution. And I'm very sure that we also can look forward to very interesting use cases today. Guillaume, as a program director, is in the lead of Worldline's digital wallet. And Maxime is the paint drive solution manager. And last but not least, it's my real pleasure to announce Charlotte Stelzer as today's guest speaker. Ms. Stelzer has been with Scheid and Bachmann for many years now, and she currently works as key account manager at the fuel retail division at Scheid and Bachmann. Who's Scheid and Bachmann is a global integrator specializing in petrol and parking solution, amongst others. Yes, well, and Worldline and Scheidenbachern have now been in a close partnership for almost a decade now. In today's guest speech, Ms. Stelzer will share her insights about the needs for the customer looking at the petrol digitalization. So let's jump to the agenda. To begin with, it will be my real pleasure to shortly discuss the question why we can speak of a payment evolution, followed by seven reasons for mobile payment. Secondly, my colleague Guillaume will focus on petrol ecosystem challenges and Maxime will present some concrete use cases to tackle those challenges. And there also will be a very cool video to showcase this. Third, not to be forgotten, is our quiz where a great uh, prize is to be won. And after the quiz, uh, Guillaume will share how the pay and drive fits into the ecosystem. And he also will show a concrete uh, project implementation plan just to get you a, a feeling uh, about the required time to realize a project with pay and drive. So the very exciting headline of today's uh, keynote of today's guest speech is pioneering uh, the petrol digitalization. And as outlined already, the uh, speech will be given by Charlotte Stelzer. And afterwards, I will be happy to provide a short overview of pay and drive's benefits. And last, not least, we'll be running a live Q&A at the end of the webinar. And so we have activated our ask a question feature, which will be visible then on your screen. Yeah, and also very important, of course, a recorded version of this webinar will be available and you will receive links to the recording and to the presentation deck via email very soon after the webinar has ended. So at uh, this graph, there's a clear trend uh, visible. As a result of uh, Corona, the contactless EMV share rose about more than 10% in just one year, looking at 2020, and also in the year 2020. And most certainly also due to the pandemic, the contactless EMV mobile payment share, so it includes the likes of Apple Pay, Samsung Pay, and so on and so forth, increased to a 4% market share in 2020. And uh, according to our prognosis, according to our uh, forecast, this share will double 
to 7% this year in 2021. So the key question here really is, how will this ongoing development and development of the maybe past two to three years will be evolving in the upcoming five years? And can we truly speak of a payment evolution? Is this a payment evolution? And I think we can. Yes, we can. Because according to our prognosis, if you look at the right side, this will be is clearly visible. Mobile payments will reach a market share of almost 70% in the foreseeable future. Of course, it's, it's true and well that contactless EM card payment will remain to be playing a certain role. You can see it uh, also on the uh, right side with a little more than 25% market share, but the chip EMV market share, chip EMV payments will have dwindled down to a mere 7%. And this leads us to the question, how can key market players, how can we together uh, benefit from this evolution? There are seven reasons for mobile payment why mobile payment is so important and will be becoming even more important in the next years. Because sales will be boosted, staff will be reduced and staff costs will be reduced as well. Petrol stations will receive a positive branding. And looking at the cost side, at the there's much to be gained. There's a lot of potential because less terminals, less cash, less, less uh, cash processing costs, of course, and more room to sell. And there are many more loyal customers to be, to be gained. And this all together, this combined uh, can drive and will drive your business. And speaking of driving your business, it's now my real pressure to hand over the floor to my colleague, Guillaume Royer. Guillaume is program director of Worldline's Digital Wallet. Guillaume, the stage now is yours. Thank, thank you very much, Carl. Uh, good morning, everybody. So I will introduce you the, the Ben Drive platform. And uh, you will see uh, in the screen. So, Carl, can you go on the on the screen to see here what is the vision of the possible uh, digital journey of your customer that Spend Drive platform can offer? And when I say your customer, is is really the, the data and the element of your customer uh, at Marchand from the mobile application or any other device like a connected card. Your customer can access to all the universe of your petrol station and more than that, because we can uh, we can do some some fueling, some charging, some car washing, but also go in the shop uh, for scan and pay use case. Uh, Maxim will present to you, or uh, take a meal with a partner restaurant, or go on the parking and pay on the parking. It means that. Uh, all of the issues cases are around the mobility and Warline Pay and Drive platform give you the possibility to offer this mobility use case and to imagine, imagine and develop a new use cases for your customer. I will let uh, Maxim show you a little video uh, to, to explain and to demonstrate uh, some use cases. Thank you, Guillaume. Uh, I will show you a few concrete concrete example of possible use case we pay on drive in a few stations. In, the de in this demonstration, initially, I will not use pay on drive. I will just fill up my tank and a royalty program will invite me to register on pay on drive. Then I will come back to the station and this time I will use pay on drive to refuel and to go shopping. On, the le on your left, uh, you will see what the customer see in his car or on, in, his, in the station. And on the right, you will see the customer phone. Okay, let's start. Now, 
No, as a driver, I have to go to the fuel station. As usual, I, uh, I put my card, I enter my pin card, I select my fuel. And unlike usual, the terminal offer me to download an app to win rewards, including a, a coffee. This is an example of the start of the process to earn all to pay on drive. I put my phone, my phone number to receive a link to download the pay on drive wallet application. Let's fill my tank first and go to park. So I can check my text message in security. I use the link to download the app and register some information are already filled, like my license plate or my card information. I authenticate the video is paused, I think. Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, now that I have filled all the information, I authenticate uh, to my bank with my fingerprint to validate the enrollment of my card in the pay and drive wallet. And now if I come back a few days later, I will use the app to select my pump in the demonstration. It's done automatically with license plate recognition, but it can be done with the customer by the customer in the app. Uh, without getting out of my car, I, I authorize the payment at the pump where I am with the card already in my wallet. Automatically, my payment unlocks the pump, as you see. Now I fill my tank again. And when I'm done, both the app and the pump displays the payment information. And you see in the app that I win a coupon for a coffee. Let's go to take this coffee to see other use cases that Pay on Drive uh, provide. Inside the shop, there is a coffee machine. I will choose a coffee on this machine and choose to pay with my mobile to use the coupon I received. With the app, I scan the QR code and automatically the coffee is paid with the coupon. With my coffee, I will buy a chocolate bar. With the app, I can scan it to buy it. And I will scan a bottle of water too. And now in my cart in the app, I can display the items and pay them. To pay, I use the card already in my wallet. And for the payment, I authenticate with my fingerprint to the bank. As you see, I Buy them without any interaction with the cashier or a terminal. In the app, I can see my payment history, the snacks, the fuel, the coffee. Uh, that's the end of the demonstration. And I will present you uh, other use case. Uh, with a scan and pay on the next slide. In the first place, uh, a use case that we already see in the demonstration, the customer scan, uh, scan his product and pay online with his phone. If his card is not already in his wallet, he can scan his card with his phone or use card information registered in his browser or simply enter manually this banking information. Uh, the second possibility on the next slide uh, is to pay on an existing terminal. 
After scanning the product, the customer goes to the cashier and scans the QR code to make the payment on the terminal. And the third possibility show another way to use scan and pay. When there is a long line at the checkout for queue bus boosting, an employee with a device provided by the store will scan the product. The, the customer do his shopping without scanning his item. But for queue boosting, an employee scan the product, initiate the payment, and the customer pay online with his phone or on a payment terminal. Uh, now, on the next slide, I will explain you what is the place of pay and drive in these use cases I show, I show you. Worldline pay and drive is a bridge between applications on the left, mobile application, connected car, or any application on any device, the physical world on the right, the pump, the charging point, the convenience store, uh, the restaurant, the payment ecosystem at the bottom, the fleet card, universal payment, coupons, and the merchant systems at the top for customer relationship management for, for loyalty. Our solution is a single point of contact, hiding the technical and functional interfacing complexity and avoiding technical discussion with various partners. That's an industrial and scalable solution. Modular, so you can choose the services you need and scalable to create new use cases together. Pay and drive is a mobi mobile experience enabled. The core idea is to offer a universal wallet to pay for every services related to mobility. An universal wallet with fleet card or credit card or coupons or prepaid account to pay anything you can imagine at the pump, at the charging point, at the convenience store, at the hotel, at the restaurant, at parking, at the rental agency, everywhere. More than a digital terminal or a queue booster, it's an opportunity to you to interact with customer. Know that you know the customer is in your fuel station. What service can you bring to him? Is it time for lunch? What is your customer favorite snack? How can he spend his time while charging his electric vehicle? Do we have promotions ongoing? The possibilities are unless sky is the limit. Uh, now on the next slide, I will introduce you our partners network. First, the pump and charging point network on the payment ecosystem. This network is scalable. If you want to keep an existing partner, that's possible. Regarding pump and charging point, one line pay and drive is already plugged with more than 80,000 fuel stations in Europe. With some pump manufacturer, you see on screen, and we plan to extend our network with more pump manufacturer in the future. We are part of the International Forcon Standards Forum, which designs standards for connecting device and fuel station. And for e-charging, our network has more than 100,000 charging points with objects, and we plan to extend it in the future. So with the connection to our system, you have access to a wide European network, which will continue to grow. Regarding the payment network on the next slide, our wallet manager already several PSP for the universal card. We are plugged with several fleet card systems and we manage some prepaid account, gift card, and loyalty program. It means that once the customer register his means of payment in the system, he can use them in every use case we present. With the same application, he chooses his fleet card during a business trip, his credit card if it's a family trip, a prepay at Kunt in the restaurant, and so on. As you see on the screen, this network will be extended to in the future. For example, if you already have a third party PSP, it is possible to integrate it to the platform. Uh, so with one connection to our system, you have immediate access to a large range of means of payment. And 
that conclude the presentation of the overview of the platform. That is yours, uh, Carl. Yes, thank you very much, Maxime. Much appreciated. So let's jump to the quiz. What are the winning rules? The goal, of course, is to provide the most uh, and quickest, most correct answers. What is there to win? As you can see here, we really have made it worth your while. So please do enjoy and please uh, try to answer as quick as possible. The winner will be announced on 7th of October. There is one minute uh, for you to ask the, to answer the questions. And I would say, please, let's start the poll and the questions will be visible right away. Which PSP are already available in the pay and drive platform? Which different use cases Worldline can easily implement for the fuel companies into the stations? Third, which option your customers can access to the pay and drive platform? And fourth, on how many sites the pay and drive platform can be installed via our partners? So we are now nearing the final countdown. Only 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and many thanks for participating and for taking the quiz. And now, Guillaume, again, the stage is yours. Thanks, thanks again, Carl. Um, so now I will go uh, how those pen drive uh, fits uh, into your ecosystem and how uh, it can help you. So, uh, Carl, you can go on the on the slide, please. Yeah. So with the without Warline pen drive, um, you will have a, a, an ecosystem with a lot of uh, different partners and several different uh, settings, multiple connector, and probably different provider. Um, if you want to, to provide a new use case or to give some mobility use case for your customer in this ecosystem, uh, sometimes it's difficult. You have a lot of interaction to manage and uh, perhaps you need to build a new one, a new connection. So the integration is very, very complex. With with Warline uh, pen drive, um, yes, uh, Carl, you can go ahead. Okay, again. And with Warline Pen Drive, uh, as we already said, the, there is a, a single point of contact. And the aim of the platform is to easy um, to, to give you the easiest way to interconnect this different system. And you can focus more on what you want to bring and what the value you want to bring to your customer than how the complexity it will be to develop new services. Uh, and you can do that with our support. On the benefits of uh, this, uh, so can, yes, you can go on the next slide. Yeah, what's the benefits of this? Uh, so our solution is very modular and as I just say, is single point of contact for your use case. It's, uh, it's a bridge uh, between uh, the application, the physical world can interact with the ecosystem, uh, existing ecosystem of a pump, of EV charger, or uh, with customer relationships or loyalty program, and uh, with a, a large payment ecosystem. And our solution is very flexible. So you choose what you need between the existing connector or fleet card, universal payment, pump controller, or new connector you want to put in place. And what is important to understand is if you have existing system, for example, a loyalty system, pen drive is, um, can connect to it. And you decide uh, if you want to use this uh, existing connector or if you want to 
uh, to build a new uh, system and Warline can support you to, to do that. If we can go deeper in the concrete timeline uh, that we can, uh, we can have. So Carl, can, if you can, yeah, thank you. Uh, if we put a concrete timeline, what uh, can be a first version? So what we propose and what we can do is go step by step. Start with an MVP, for example, and then improve the solution, go further and enrich functionality of your uh, application. So if we consider MVP with existing connector, with uh, things already in place, it could run three months is something that we can put in place, the MVP and go have some transaction live in production. If we need to customize more because you have your own PSP we need to interconnect with, or you have a pump manufacturer not already uh, in the system and we need to build a new one, or you have your own uh, loyalty system or you want to create a new use case uh, is a project that can take more time, but depending on the complexity can be around six months uh, to manage uh, this type of integration. Okay. Now I will present you a, a concrete use case um, and concrete innovative use case that, that we put in place in France uh, with uh, THG with uh, for the, the pump interconnection with new port for the mobile application and with card bancaire uh, for the, the payment part and we do it with the, the PSP uh, of Warline Ogun. Uh, it's the aim of this use case is to test a new usage, usage sorry, and the, the usage of the voice to authenticate the customer. So the use case will be like that. The customer do uh, an onboarding process at home uh, and then he comes to the station and interacts only with his mobile phone. And uh, he, he will not interact physically with uh, any device in the terminal. He only speak to his um, terminal to his uh, mobile phone. And then he choose the pump, he choose the product, and validate the payment with his voice. And he do the authentication of the voice. So of course, there is some security aspect huh, to be sure that is a, a good voice and not a, a recording. And he go out take the fuel and leave the station. So the aim of this use case is to have a friendly and seamless use case uh, for the customer. And it's something that we, uh, it's live uh, in France, but on, uh, on the pilot phase uh, at the moment. Yes. Thank you, Carl. I think Dion, thank yes. you very much for this uh, exciting use case. And now the speech voice Authentication, this use case is followed by today's guest speech. And it's my honor and it's my pleasure to again announce Ms. Charlotte Stelzer. From a simple fuel station to a pioneer in the petrol digitalization, Charlotte Stelzer, the stage now is yours. Yeah, thank you very much, Carl, first of all, for the invitation and the whole Worldline team for hosting this event and having me as a guest speaker today, and also good morning and a warm welcome from my end to the audience. My name is Charlotte Stelzer. I'm a key account manager at Scheid & Bachmann Fuel Retail Solutions. And I appreciate the chance today to give you an impression about how Scheid & Bachmann and its partners, such as Worldline, create value for our clients and how we contribute to our clients' transformation from a simple fuel station to being an actual pioneer in the petrol digitalization. And uh, what does Scheid & Bachmann do as a company? For those who might not know Scheid & Bachmann, Scheid & Bachmann supplies and supports solutions for intelligent mobility, not only in the fuel retail business, but also signaling systems for trains, fare collection systems in public transportation, and also off-street parking solutions. And with these business divisions, we operate from the headquarter in Mönchengladbach, Germany, with more than 3,000 employees worldwide in more than 50 countries. And when we take a look at our industry, we conclude that, um, if you could go to the next slide, please, we conclude that things are changing significantly and rapidly, and that our clients, especially the mobile oil companies, are literally reinventing themselves based on the trends for electronic mobility or electromobility and all other new kinds of mobility, 
that are challenging the business model of a simple fuel station. Many sites have already adopted their offerings to uh, supply battery electric and hydrogen powered vehicles and many studies and future designs see petrol stations as green service worlds and uh, especially modern mobility hubs. And we agree with this and acknowledge that this comes with a number and a variety of additional customer needs that are to be taken into account and to be focused in the digital um, strategy as views are changing from a vehicle perspective to a strongly customer, strongly focused customer centric perspective. And in order to meet these demands as a solution provider, we have first of all summarized and clustered these needs that are arising from this new era of mobility in zero emission and sustainability, the need to rest and relax, mixed transport journeys, and the need for daily errands. And I would like to say a few more words to these now. If you could jump to the next slide, please. Zero emission and sustainability is a need mainly arising from climate change and the urgent need to reduce our CO2 emissions. And some of you might know better than I do that there are alternative and in innovative fuels already on the market and coming to the market, such as LNG, hydrogen, e-fuels and others. And in order to successfully bring these to the market and gain customer acceptance, they must be easily accessible to the customers. And then there's also a new need to rest and relax. Next slide, please. Yeah. Um, customers are, for example, recharging their electric cars and will eventually stay for a longer period of time at the site and want to experience quality time. I've read a tweet uh, online from someone who was on a journey the other day. He wanted to charge his car um, at a site and he tweeted, even after leaving a bad review last year, there's still no toilet, still no coffee, one charger is out of operation. This is anything else but a premium charging experience. And what does this tell us? The process of recharging actually goes far beyond plugging in the vehicle in and out and paying but creating a premium charging experience may concern various other opportunities for customers at the site. For example, the opportunity for a customer to take a comfortable seat while waiting uh, for their car to be fully charged. It may include the opportunity to track their charging status on a screen that's easily visible in a shop or the possibility to charge their phones while they're waiting, have access to a clean toilet a coffee, a yummy snack, a good Wi-Fi connection, or perhaps uh, an area to work and have a phone conference and silent, just to name a few examples. And furthermore, uh, next slide please. Um, we see that customers increasingly trend to use mixed modes of transportation. One can think of a customer, for example, using a train, uh, traveling the last few kilometers to the destination by e-scooter or e-bike, or a customer may be coming from outside of the city, parking the car at a site, use a charging opportunity, and then using the bus to get into the city because parking space is rare and expensive. So we can actually create value by providing opportunities to link changing modes of customer transport. And besides that, could go to the next slide, please. Um, there are customers that are in a hurry and do not have much time. These customers desire services to run daily errands quickly and on the go, such as grabbing a breakfast on the way to work or picking up a parcel delivery from their online shopping activities on their way home. And some customers perhaps do not even want um, a site, want to visit a site, but rather have their goods delivered directly at home. And so what is our answer to this now? Please go to the next slide. Scheidel Bachmann, as a solution provider together with his partners, um, we strongly focus our innovations on the digital customer journey for mobility hubs and offer the required technological solution components. And illustrated by this little future store, I would just like to highlight some of them. There are many more, 
um, but I will just focus on a few now. At first sight, this looks like a regular fuel station, but when taking a closer look from a customer perspective, it becomes more interesting. For example, when looking at the forecourt as a customer, you will have the possibility to pay your fuels and your car wash with your smartphone or charge your electric vehicle, take a seat inside the shop and have a nice snack while being able to track your charging status on the screen. And perhaps you have a coupon in your pocket or your smartphone or that you have received from a third party, like a supermarket around the corner, or that you have received online and that you can redeem and get your 10% discount on the sandwich that you just ate. And when you want to pay all the necessary information, including your discount that you received from your coupon um, and any other necessary details are shown to you transparently as a sales basket on a large customer's display that is at the same time promoting the upcoming deals for drinks and snacks in appealing pictures and videos to you. Or perhaps you are one of the rushed customers that has no time to stand in line at the POS. So therefore you use the self-service checkout, which by the way, we have in Switzerland in the field. And in case you have the opportunity to try it, please do, I think it's great. Or maybe you have ordered your goods online from a third party online platform and just jump into the store and pick up your pre-ordered items and uh, you don't even have to pull out your, your wallet out of your pocket as payment is being proceeded online. Or you stay at home completely and simply have your goods delivered on, uh, to your home. Could go to the next slide, please. Um, and at the heart of our solutions is our Sigma Connect platform as a digital customer journey enabler. Zima Connect is basically a cloud-based integration platform that offers standardized APIs for the simple integration of solution partners. Because solution management for future mobility hubs will require the integration of systems from various different suppliers. And one key aspect to successfully run a mobility hub is the seamless integration of these systems to allow a smooth operation. And our aim with Sigma Connect is to provide an interface structure that offers our customers the greatest flexibility in expanding their systems together with their partners. And in itself, Sigma Connect is organized in different modules, such as IFSF Pay, representing all processes that have to do with payment on the forecourt and, for example, at the car wash. Charge Connect, for example, referring to everything that has to do with EV charging integration with a site system. Couponing Connect, referring to our couponing, uh, couponing uh, use cases and further um, loyalty programs that you can think of and so on. So there's much more modules, but only to name a few. And this is exactly and basically what we are also planning to do with Worldline. If you could go to the next slide, please. As our partner and the Pay and Drive Merchant Wallet that will be integrated into the Sigma Connect site system infrastructure using the standard interface IFSF 360 uh, and its protocol. And the standard interface will be used to access the relevant information needed from the site system, such as, for example, the pump status or the fuel prices. So the customer will be able to authorize, reserve a pump, start and stop the fueling process via the Worldline app and get his electronic receipt, whilst the necessary information about the pump status and the pricing are coming from the SMP site system. And the advantage here is that on a local level, there will be no changes necessary to the site system itself. And of course, the cashier will also see on his POS display when a pump is being reserved and a mobile payment process um, is used so that he doesn't have to call the police when someone's uh, driving off the forecourt and without entering the shop. If you could go to the next slide, please. Um, <clears throat> another possibility that our Sigma IFSF Pay Connect module has to offer is the integration of car wash supplier systems. And from a customer centric perspective, the advantage is that the customer does not have to purchase his car wash in the shop and stand in line in front of the POS, but he can stay seated in the car and have a seamless and premium car wash experience. Furthermore, an integration of EV chargers via Sigma Charge Connect, if you could go to the next slide, please, 
makes charging as convenient as fueling because the customer can actually choose whether he wants to pay via his app or whether he wants to enter the shop, maybe have a coffee or something else in the shop and pay his complete sales basket, including the charging at the POS in one, transactions, uh, in one transaction with any method of paying the payment that is uh, accepted at the particular site. Next slide, please. Um, by an integration of third party suppliers via Sigma Couponing Connect, um, site operators will also have the opportunity and will be enabled to enter and expand corporations with other service providers, such as supermarkets or hardware stores or online shops to realize further use cases and increase customer loyalty. For example, a site issues a coupon that uh, a customer can then redeem online to get a 10% discount on the next movie in a cinema, or the site issues a coupon that can be redeemed uh, to get a 5% discount on certain products in a nearby hardware store. And also possible would be a loyalty agreement that's working the other way around or both ways so that coupons can be issued elsewhere and will be validated at the POS and redeemed at the site to, for example, get a tasty burger deal as a special offer. If you could go to the next slide, please. <clears throat> In order to realize and pick up delivery use cases, we have Sigma Delivery Connect in place that potentially allow the integration of third-party online platforms, such as Lieferando, Deliveroo, and any other you might think of uh, via Sigma Connect. And this is also a great opportunity for customers in order to on, uh, order goods online in times of, for example, when supermarkets are closed and sites are still open, um, or for any other scenario where you could think of um, an order makes sense. If you could go to the next slide, please. And also, I would like to give you an outlook of what else we are planning. Um, I would like to mention our vision for a scan and go concept as a comprehensive solution that can be provided and supported out of one hand by Scheiden Bachmann. Uh, you might remember in the beginning, I said that Scheiden Bachmann is also operating in the field of parking and public transportation. And so we also have gates in our product portfolio. And this is where we are able to create synergies between the business divisions to provide further scenarios and use cases, for example, for sites that are open 24 seven um, and that should be operated at reduced labor costs or for example, where HSSE risk at night have to be mitigated whilst the shop can still be open for operation. And uh, there our scan and go concept would work for customers to authorize themselves via an app, enter the shop by checking in, the gate, uh, in at the gate uh, scanning their articles, putting them into the sales basket, uh, paying with a preferred method of payment, leaving the shop by checking out at the gate and receiving their e-receipt. And this is just uh, one example of how we are planning together with our partners to bring the digital customer journey of mobility hubs to the next level. And with these words having said, I would like to wrap up and conclude, if you could go to the next slide, please that with Scheiden Bachmann and its partners, the customer journey of mobility hubs is digital, customer centric and driven by partnerships. Thank you very much for your attention. And in case you are interested in more, you're more than welcome to reach out and we will be happy to provide you further information. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Charlotte. Thank you for this inspiring guest speech. It is very much appreciated. And now it's the right moment to wrap it up. What are the benefits for end customers? In conclusion, it's fast, it's contactless, and it's available 24 seven, regardless if it's in or out door. All payment methods are in place. You need not worry too about that, all is there. And for those of us who enjoy a free coffee to go, it's very easy to participate in promotions as well. And last but not least, the payment of course is secure. 
because it's contactless. Secondly, what uh, are the benefits for the petrol stations? In short, it's all about cost reduction and increasing customer loyalty. Know your customer. Data is the new gold. So you have to uh, imagine that at, with uh, point of sale payments, you don't really have the, the data available to do uh, win back uh, promotions and so on and so forth. But with mobile payments and with pay and drive, you can do that. And with Worldline, you have an uh, experienced, stable and neutral partner with Worldline, a dedicated and experienced team is supporting your success, which directly leads me to let's start together. Let's start together now, of course, bearing in mind that a successful project always is based on a tailor-made customization. So please do reach out. Please uh, contact me uh, via email kalt.stigeda at worldline.com. To wrap it up, Worldline, we as a team offer a full service approach. All is there under one roof. Security compliance, that's our one of our specialities. You need not to worry about that. All has been taken care of. All bank and fleet cards are available. And of course, loyalty programs ready to go. You name it. We got it. And last, um, but not last but not least, I want to invite you to our live Q&A. Thank you, Carl. Um, maybe uh, Biljana is speaking here. Uh, what I wanted to, to do a link here, which is very important. Um, all the, the solutions, what you saw with Scheiden Bachmann. Scheiden Bachmann is one of our partners and uh, we are offering this the connection here directly with our merchant wallet. So this is, I think, the most important part. If you have here any questions to uh, the solution about Sigma, um, please raise it now because uh, we would like also to clarify. I, I don't think so that it was quite um, clear also for the customers how the connection is between Scheid and Bachmann and, uh, and the merchant wallet. Maybe just if Guillaume could say a few words about that. So just to have here the connection, which is very important, yeah? Yeah, I can do, I can say some, some few words about yes, that. Yes, huh? thank you. Um, yeah, so the, the pen drive platform uh, or Merchant Toilet uh, is all the old the, all the name. <laughs> uh, so the pen drive platform, yes, and the, the aim is to offer some uh, connection. And uh, of course, the, the integration of the Shaitan Bachman connector uh, can uh, gives you gives the possibility to access to a lot of ecosystem of uh, Shaitan Bachman, of course. But um, the, the the aim of the pendrive platform is to offer you some connection to the station network, but to the payment, to the loyalty, to the other network, and to other provider if you have one, of course. Yeah. Thank you very much, Guillaume. So I think we can now start the Q&A. And you should uh, be seeing the box anytime soon where you can enter your questions. If you have any questions, please do enter them now. Let's wait a bit for questions. We already have covered one in advance. Thank you very much for the question of Iliana to make it more clear. Okay, there's one already. I think you might be enjoying answering this one. Guillaume, once again, you <laughs> the stage is yours. Guillaume, I will read it out yes. to you. Can can I can the question from uh, one of our uh, um, participants in the audience is can I also do retail shopping using the speech voice feature you presented uh, in the webinar or is it only for a uh, fuel payment is it limited to fuel payment and that's <laughs> that's a very good question and uh, yeah the, the feature is not uh, is not limited to to the fuel payment uh, of course is the first uh, step uh, we, we we try to this but 
tomorrow we can use uh, this use case uh, in the shopping in the buy, to buy a coffee or uh, to to unlock a, a locker uh, for example so the this type of use case and this type of authentic authentication can be uh, can be used in different use cases okay thank you very much uh, there's already another question um also a very interesting one. I think I'd like to answer this for myself. So the question is, how is your take on the increasing app mobile payment market share? Does it not hurt your terminal sales? <laughs> a very uh, nice one in a critical direction. Um, I think we have to bear in mind that the, the world has changed due to uh, the pandemic, of course. And so also the payment expectations um, are changing in general. And Worldline, Scheiden Bachmann, and every market participant are well advised to adapt to the changes at hand. And with Worldline and with the solution, with our partners, they are already, their all components to be successful are there. So we together with the pay and drive solution are ready to bridge all gaps and to ensure boosting sales and uh, customer uh, loyalty. Um, Carl, we have already several questions also in the chat. So maybe just to answer that also, which is very important. Uh, one of the questions, Carl, was uh, does Wilfen have um, a connection with Tokheim? Uh, Guillaume, could you please answer yeah. that question? Thank you. Of course, yeah. Uh, yes, so uh, we are uh, connected to uh, to the TSG uh, platform, uh, so MobiPay One, and we have some connection with the Tokheim system. Uh, for example, we do it uh, for Total. And one more question is also how uh, how we will get the customer data. Um, can you also answer that, please? So the the customer data uh, for the moment is uh, is really the. Um, the aspect of the mobile application and the CRM system, uh, all loyalty system. So in the Pendrive platform, we, we manage the transaction, we manage the information of the transaction, but not the, the customer data. We, we consider that these data are really important for the merchant and they want to manage their customer. So that's why we, we don't manage it uh, in the platform. We just uh, manage the, the information of the transaction and we call the different system to, uh, to have information of loyalty or anything else. But I think uh, the difference also to other providers is that uh, we are giving uh, the customer the customer data, so we are not storing them. And I think this yeah. is a big difference to other um, to other providers, yeah, yeah? yeah in terms of security, yeah. Yeah, and, and then what you say, Bielena, is very important because the customer data has, are uh, your uh, customer data, and we don't manage it for you, and we don't uh, monetize it. Uh, it's your data. Mm -hmm. Uh, some more questions, <laughs> again to you. Um, yeah. How do you handle the payment card details when using a third party PSP? Do you store them uh, and transfer them to PSP during transactions? I think this is already covered, no? No, uh, um, we, don't, uh, we don't store the, the information. Um, we keep the information of the, of the card in the PSP and we just store the token to manage it and to, uh, to do the payments the next time. And now one question from uh, another uh, customer, uh, from another participant is: uh, Congratulations for the proof of concept of paying at fuel and station of pay at fuel at station in France. What are the learnings of this POC? How is the acceptance by users? I don't know, for the moment, is a little. Uh, <laughs> it's it's uh, the beginning of this. Huh? So we we start some transaction and we do some transaction, uh, and uh, the beta test. Uh, start during the, the month of October. So we have some, some uh, uh, special user that already uh, use it, but not a lot of uh, customer for the moment. And uh, the, the, the real pilot and the real POC will start in October. So mm -hmm. probably we'll have more information in the next month. Um, yeah, this is exactly what I wanted also to say that in the next webinar, we are happy also to present you the first pilots, what we are doing also with other uh, with other customers, yeah, so that you can also see a proof of the learnings what we have during the pilots. Uh, one more question about fleet card transactions. Um, can you say more about fleet cards transactions? Where actually 
um, this is about um, authenticating authorization and finally transfer data to the card issuer who will invoice later and settle transactions via payment of the invoice how many sites can go live as today okay <clears throat> so for, for the moment for the interaction with the fleet card what we do on with the pen drive platform we interconnect with the authorization server uh, to verify that the, the customer uh, can uh, do the transaction or not uh, and after that we give the information of the transaction to the back office system so the invoicing system uh, is is the same for for the moment uh, we we don't manage it we manage the authorization and after to give the information to to the uh, to the back office system to, to manage this uh, transaction. Mm -hmm. uh, for for the moment, uh, we uh, we do some uh, fleet card management uh, for for total, uh, and uh, it's um, it's uh, the, the site of total uh, in uh, in uh, Germany who is uh, who is live. Mm -hmm. Great, thank you. Um... One more question is also how many transactions do you expect per day and sites when starting with mobile payment? I mean, we already started with mobile payment. So maybe in general, what we can um, say is how many transactions do we have in general um, per day? What do you think? Mm, it's it starts uh, slowly sometimes, uh, but uh, after, uh, see, for, for example, uh, we... Um, we have some uh, uh, some 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 solution about ten thousand uh, transaction uh, a month, but it's uh, something that uh, increased a lot. But uh, yes, of course, for the moment, it's not a, a big yeah. number of transaction each month. Exactly. Uh, good. I think uh, we covered everything. Also, the reporting to the issuers and to the merchants. Yeah. Very interesting questions. Very interesting, and uh, thank you all for participating, for joining, and for taking the time. Uh, I want to remind you that a recorded version of this webinar will be available soon, and you will receive links to the recording and also to the presentation deck via email. Uh, in case of further questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, let's schedule a meeting right away. Let's drive together into the future. Let's boost our sales. And I want to thank you for attending again and thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Thank you very much.